what it do my tribe welcome back to our channel thank you so much to all our new subscribers we appreciate you we rocking with you family thank you so much uh if you haven't done so already go ahead and like this video and um let's go ahead and get into it you know i'm not gonna be on here long today i just have a few messages i want to get out and just um just address a few things that we have going on right now now you guys know that I always, what I always try to do with my content is to make it be balanced. You know what I'm saying? I try to have a nice balance of information. Some, Because you know what? Everything can't be a key key all the time. You know? And I wasn't even allowed to do this if I wasn't delivering God's message out to his people. People always say when they watch my videos and stuff, they be like, how do you know that? Do you know them? Do you know this person? Because I speak so passionately about things that I feel is disrupting our community. And disrupting the mindset of people you know they're nothing but like distractions really you know but it's also for us to pay attention to so we can recognize when we see those kind of people we need to check those kind of people because that's what god put us down here to do for those kind of people that are not striving to help build a better community that's only looking out for themselves and only care about themselves so i was saying that to say you know you guys we have to start being comfortable with who we are and what we do here on the in this world that we living in right now because it's getting to the point if you look at all the things that's going on around us with the diseases and you're thinking and all the stuff that's happening over in other countries and stuff all these things that are going on god is is really really pushing through a whole lot of us on youtube to make sure that we still deliver God's word to his people. Even the ones who don't want to hear it, they can't say they ain't never heard it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what was so important today. And like, let's get back to what I was saying. We have to be comfortable with what we do because it's plain in the Bible that the rich is not going to inherit the world. They are not. They're not going to, they're not going to um, be in the kingdom of heaven because these people let me read what it says. Let's get into that then. Let's go to Revelations. God said, you say I am rich and I have increased wealth and need not of nothing. He talking about what they saying, what all we seeing right now. I'm rich, I'm wealthy, and I'm in need of nothing. But you do not realize you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. And when he say poor, he mean poor in spirit. A lot of these people, celebrities, and all these people in this little bubble that we living in in our world, you wondering why they be things that be happening around them and be happening to them. You would say, you got all this money. You should be happy. And we all know money don't make you happy. But you have to be richer than more than just money. You have to be rich in spirit. And a lot of these people, the first thing they want to do is thank God. They always say, I want to thank God, thank God. But they walk around with an I mentality. I did that. I did that. I got that. I did that. They, they, Those people, God is looking at them. He like, you can have them fooled out, uh, out in this world, but I can see you. And you sad, you depressed. You got a lot, a whole lot of issues that your friends and people around you ain't even going through. And you walking around this big old house with all these issues and things. I can see that no matter what you portray out into the world, they be the saddest people. And I'm saying that to say for us, we need to be okay with being who we are. You know, the meek shall inherit. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? We have to be, if you a Uber driver and somebody say, you go on a date, they say, what you do? I'm an Uber driver. You know what I'm saying? But but you can tell, you can still, but you know what? The only person that you really work for is, is the Almighty. That's it. So you really don't have to explain nothing to nobody. Because these are all just temporary situations. Because this whole thing getting ready to be over with anyway. Anyway. And if you don't believe that, then you just like some of those, some of our ancestors. You wonder why we got these curses upon us. They was thinking the same thing. Man, it's cool. God ain't going to do nothing. We just chilling. You know what I'm saying? We just chilling. We just kicking. It's cool. We ain't got to do that. We can do what we want to do. He going to keep on forgiving us and keep on forgiving us. The time is, uh, the clock is ticking. Okay? It is ticking right now. And it's not so much about putting fear in people because you shouldn't be afraid of yourself. 
You know what I'm saying? You need to be afraid of God and learn how to get right and speaking your truth all, you know what I'm saying? As much as you can. And be in a child mindset of like, you know how the innocence. The innocence of a child. That's how your mind need to be. You don't need to be walking around holding grudges with people. You know what I'm saying? Holding grudges with people. Being mean. You remember how it was when we were kids? We get into it with somebody. And then the next day, we playing again. That's the kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what you need to be trying to um, aspire to be, really. Like I always say, doing to others as you have them doing to you, that's real. Now, if somebody treating you messed up, you don't get no grounding points with God for treating them nice. But how you conduct yourself out in this world, what you projecting out into the world is very important. And it's so many of us that feel bad about our um, momentary situations that we go through, that everybody goes through. You be feeling like you're the only one, you know? And God, he always hear your cries, especially poor, especially the poor. He hear you. You know what I'm saying? You, you might not be everything that you want. You might not hit the lottery, you know, or have these vast, crazy uh, things that you want God to achieve for you. But sometimes it's good to sit back and just embrace what he has done for you, where you are at. Even if the world is telling you, you poor. You are rich in spirit. And that means a whole lot more to God than it does everybody putting letters of money all over the place with this prop money stuff. That means a whole lot more to be rich in spirit. So when you hear me talking about some of these people that's out here bringing all these distractions into our community with all this foolishness that they're doing, trying to destroy, destroy, destroy so they can be the only one on top. That's when you got a question. It's, it's so much going on that people are so spiritually poor and you wondering why they just taking their lives. You wondering why every time you hear them, they sound like a little depressed. They want to talk to you so they can grab some of your energy. You know, it's so many people that are poor in spirit. That's all they have to show is money because they ain't nothing working on the inside. They can say, I want to thank God, but God be like, you don't never thank me for nothing. Stop. You think you got all this by yourself. You think in your worst moments I abandoned you. You know? So like I said, this was just going to be a short video. I just wanted to keep you guys in the mentality of what's going on right now. We can have key keys. We can have our little moments where we talk about these people that are really not, that are doing harm to our, to our people and our community. And, and y'all already know I'll go further than that and tackle into all this craziness. But that's not for me to do all the time. That's not for this video. All I wanted to say on this video is for everybody that is not feeling comfortable in a situation because the world got you feeling like you poor in some way. Just remember that you are rich in spirit. You are rich in spirit. And if you're not, you need to strive to be. Let your every move be to serve God. You know, j just like that. It's just that simple. Thank him for the small things. Thank him for the big things. Just thank him when you just want to thank him. And let him know that you're rocking with him. Because these people out here, they're, ne they're not going to give the glory up to him. They still think they did it all on their own. And those are all the people you see coming out, all these narcissists. You see, you just hear this word, narcissism, 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 because that's what's spewing out of people. They can't help it. They're so poor in spirit that they have to self-indulge and just make the whole world be on some capping stuff, basically. Cloudism. That's it. That's all they have left. That's all they had left, and they ain't going to want to leave this place. They gonna want to still be down here. It's all flooded or whatever is gonna happen to the world, and they still riding around talking about I'm about it, about it. Some butch, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, pay attention to what's going on right now. Don't get so caught up in everything that we're doing and what we're talking about. Because at the end of the day, I want to always try to come at it from a spiritual place. The reason why these things are happening is because these people are so poor in spirit, and it's coming on out. And God ain't there to rescue them and help them. You, they going to get dealt with. That's why you're seeing it coming so hard. But um, until next time, y'all, I just want to do something real quick, like I said. 
Hope everybody enjoys their Monday. This was something to inspire some people to not look down on themselves, but be thankful for everything that they have, you know? And like I said, doing to others as you'll have them doing to you. Peace out, y'all. Y'all have a good week.